got one to port. Starboard. Crazy, right? Yeah. This would be impossible at night. So it is another beautiful day here in Isle of Shoals, which is on the border of Maine and New Hampshire, although we're on the Maine side. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go for a little dinghy ride and explore. Um, Brian and Kaza said they saw some seals yesterday around the corner of this island behind me. Um, so we're gonna go check it out. We arrived into this pretty spot yesterday after our 60 mile passage from Provincetown, Massachusetts. The Isle of Shoals is right on the border of New Hampshire and Maine. So technically we're in Maine, though clearly at the very edge and only the early beginnings of our little Maine adventure. We'll be continuing our journey further north, but not before spending a day in this new to us and beautiful group of islands. Water is really pretty here. It's like a really, really pretty greenish color. Yeah. Wow. Lagoon. You could really see everything in the water. It's helped, like, bed or whatever. Yeah, I wonder if there's like. It's kind of shallow here. Oysters or clams or anything. Weird in here. Living in here. This is really pretty. I've never seen water exactly this color. No, it's really. a different shape. It's a really pretty shade. ragu is what I'm calling it. But I use some onions and garlic and some shredded carrots, a bunch of mushrooms, and then I saute that for a while, put the beef in, put some red wine in there, um, 
to cook the beef, but I think it's gonna be good. It smells really good. Just hanging out, messaging friends. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. What are you doing? We're gonna get up really early tomorrow, um, before five. We wanna be out of here by five because we have an 80 mile trip to uh, where we're going in Maine. So pretty excited about that. Um, and yeah, I think I'm also gonna have leftovers for tomorrow, which is nice, because I know we're gonna be tired from um, an all-day trip. It's supposed to be some wind, so hopefully we'll be able to sail. But yeah, it's been a nice little time here in Isla Shoals, but I'm looking forward to catching back up with Brian and Kaza. They left um, early this morning. We wanted to wait for the wind, because uh, we don't motor as fast as them, and we've got an 80-mile trip, as I said, so it'll be good to have wind. Good morning. So it is 10 to 5. We set our alarms for 4 30, um, and we're just having some coffee now and uh, trying to wake up for the day here. Um, coming up and I can see the light is just coming over the horizon. Kinda cool. Looks pretty. Hey, like a little, the little path took a thingy through yesterday? I think there's like a little spot right here. Sun is really rising now. Gorgeous morning, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. A little bit of a roll coming in. Hopefully that means that our wind will be arriving at some point. because I just saw my first whale. Um, he, it was over here. I saw like the fin come up over here and then it's worked its way across the horizon and I actually just saw it way, way far away, which I think means it was a pretty big whale because you don't really see anything that far. But I'm freaking out because I've never seen a whale um, from all the miles that I've sailed ever. Bill has seen them when I wasn't cruising with him. He saw them before um, I was on board but I've never seen a whale. And I just saw my first whale. And we didn't see whales on our way to the Isle of Shoals, which is when you're supposed to see whales because there's tons of them off of um, uh, Provincetown, like Cape Cod. We didn't see any and I just saw one. And I was so excited, um, but I didn't get on film. <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and maybe I'll get lucky and get one on film. We'll see, I'm gonna be like, my eyes are gonna be on the horizon I mean, they already were because of pots, but now I'm gonna be next level excited. Come on, whale, come back. It is a couple hours later and I am on watch and uh, there's no wind still, so we're motoring. Um, but beautiful day and I'm very excited. I think it's only like 8.30 now. Um, Keelnit's behind us. 
Seeing that it's back there. And yeah, the sun is warm. It was chillier this morning, but it feels great now. No complaints. Still underway to Penobscot Bay. Wind has not quite filled in yet. So motor sailing up the code zero up. Um, yeah, pretty chill passage so far. Long day starting at 5 a.m., but um, going well. Switched over to our ASIM, um, more downwind than I thought, and lighter air. So for now, we're going up the ASIM instead of the Code Zero. Um, we left the Code Zero up furled up in case we had to switch over quickly. Um, I'm just using our new tweakers we installed. So you can see I have a frictionless ring over the sheet, and it goes down the block and tackle on the stanchion base. Cruising along in the mid fives now. Um, we were doing closer to seven with the motor on, but this is way, way more pleasant. We have about 20 miles left, so we have plenty of time for a day if the sun goes down. Um, yeah, pretty pleasant. Well, it is, let's see, it's four o'clock. It's been a very long day. Um, the skies have turned a little cloudy and gray now, um, but we are sailing and that is awesome. We were able to turn the engine off, I think around one, one thirty. Yeah, it's a long day leaving it. Well, we leave it, we got it before 30, so. Yeah. And, and it's, not, it's not easy sailing here because there's so many lobster pots. It's not like put the sails up and kind of lean back. Like yeah. It's a vigilant watch constantly. There's been lobster pots everywhere. Brian and Kaza just sent us a picture from the spot that we're going to and it looks gorgeous. And I mean, I got into sweatpants and as you can see, I have a hoodie on um, probably an hour ago. So it feels nice and cool. Um, and I think when the sun is out going forward, it's just going to be the most perfect temperature. So... I'm so happy. I'm really thankful. We haven't hit any pots. We've had a great day. Um, I saw that whale. That was definitely the highlight of this passage for me. <laughs> um, I looked for one the whole day after I saw that one whale. Um, and yeah, I think we're both pretty excited to just stay in one spot for a while. Um, it just feels like we've been moving so much. Um, so it'll be nice to just like clean up the cabin, put like a centerpiece on the table, centerpiece on the table, and just really like move into a non-moving mode for the next week or two at least. Um, put down some roots, as far as roots can be on a sailboat. Um, kind of nest a little. I wanna make pizza, do some baking now that it's cold, colder. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. In a straight line, we're 1400 miles from the Ragged Islands right now. So it's quite a bit of travel considering we left what? we left. Mid June, yeah, it's like August, and so August second. So it means six weeks to do fourteen hundred miles. But we were in Annapolis for an entire month uh, with repairs. So it was actually quite a bit of travel for. I guess it was a condensed like two to three week period. So yeah. yeah. So it's been a lot of moving. So I'll be glad to. We're kind of in our summer cruising grounds now. So that's cool. Um, yeah. So I'm just be glad to get there, get the anchor down, and relax. I have a whole bunch of other projects to do on the boat as well. So yeah. <laughs> never ends. <laughs> Yeah, the boat that work. Part for the course. The boat work hasn't ended, but that's that's like pretty normal. Um, but yeah, it will just be good to like be somewhere where we can stop and hang out and like cruise. Like we finally feel like we're cruising again ever since we left Annapolis, which is awesome. It's just that we've been trying to like keep moving, keep moving. So now we're not only cruising, but we're going to be able to chill out. It's going to be great. And I see see a lobster pot up there on your port, honey. Yeah, you're gonna clear it.
we are just going through a maze of lobster pots. Um, we actually hit one, but luckily we were still under sale. So we don't have a propeller spinning, so we didn't grab it. It just kind of bounced along the hull and peel. Um, yeah, I mean, Maine, Maine is known for this. This is what it's, it's like here. But just everywhere, it's a maze of them. What do you think? Grace is glad we have the remote. I'm um, gonna keep watching, she's driving. You got one aboard? Seven. Possible at night. I'm thankful because um, Saber on the, because uh, there's a main built boat, on the edge of our rudder, there's a little metal pin like this that uh, deflects lobster lines from going to the rudder joint. So if it hits the keel, it like slides down, and if it, it will, that'll help prevent it from getting stuck on a rudder. Um, <laughs> I guess it's designed for this kind of craziness. So, we're in the last little home stretch here. Uh, massive maps of lobster pots. But um, yeah, we're almost there. All in all, successful trip. Hi! Welcome to Maine! Thank you!